Okay, hi participants. Uh, so my name is Dhar Davinder. So uh, today's agenda is to you know why AWS is or any cloud technology is required for the industries. So these days there is no industry who can run or they can run the business without uh, cloud platforms. So even you talk about the retail, you talk about banking industry, you talk about automobiles. IT industry, everybody, they are onto the cloud itself. Always more on trainings companies, they are also on the cloud. So we are using one of the cloud platform right now, go to meeting. So uh, this is about myself. So I'm having 18 plus years of experience on Linux, Unix, cloud platforms, and many more. So I'm uh, Togaf, AWS, Azure. Uh, sorry, you, uh, you, yes. Thank you, Yadin. <clears throat> yeah, then come on now, uh, screen number fourth, uh, slide four, and fifth, yes, fifth slide. Next one. Yeah, <clears throat> I deliver multiple trainings in across uh, <clears throat> in India, US, Australia, and Singapore. And I give many uh, on-site trainings in uh, Europe and uh, in Malaysia. So I work with the Yahoo company, IBM Software Labs, uh, Entity, Data, Wipro, and some more companies. And I migrated many <coughs> client workloads <coughs> sorry, <coughs> onto the AWS and Azure cloud. And we uh, built many uh, private cloud and made the hybrid cloud uh, for them, for the clients. So that is all over. And now we will uh, make it a little bit uh, more uh, in, interactive this session. So I want to know firstly from all the participants, which cloud they heard about most popular in these days, which cloud? So Jatin, you have to uh, help me to uh, tell me the answers if people are. Yeah. Participants are saying that they have heard about AWS. Majority are saying AWS, few are saying Azure. You are saying AWS and Azure. Thank you. Yeah. It means you know about the already uh, some of the cloud uh, top players. So right now, number one player, everybody is aware. Forty-six percent of market share is with AWS. Can you come to the next screen, Yatin? Next screen. So why do uh, people or business they want onto the cloud? Why? Okay. Just think about high availability and resiliency. Why people are first think about the cloud? Uh, for example, uh, here so many participants are there. If you think about, you want to go for a, uh, you want to create your own startup company. What is the first thing coming in your mind? You need the systems. <clears throat> you need your own system where you can run your applications, run your business, right? So cloud is the first place where this will come into the mind. Let's make my all the system onto the cloud. Why on the cloud? Because you no need to spend money on to prepare your own data center. You need four system. You can pay for the four system and get the system immediately onto the cloud. So whatever you are getting the services over the internet, that's all cloud can give you. Okay, there is high availability and resiliency. When you build your application, think about if your application is down, if you go to a webinar, which we are using, if it is down, what will happen? We will not able to talk to each other, right? To make this tool, they have given us in high availability. <clears throat> if one down, another will automatically uh, in the backend system will integrate such a way they will immediately start a second system, third system, fourth system, it can be. They can be used. So that's highly available systems onto the cloud. You can build with fraction of seconds. Within minutes, you can create high availability of your systems. OK, it automatically increase also. <clears throat> you know about yesterday, uh, day before yesterday was the India-Pakistan match. So. Everybody is aware in that day, all the websites, Crick Info, Crick Bug, Cricket.com, everybody getting the peak traffic <clears throat> due to many people are watching online, many were just checking the scores. So that websites are on to the top peak, but they no need to worry about that. 
cloud gave us the so much scalability option they will uh, cloud is giving you when your users are increased <clears throat> for example right now only 10000 now 1 million your system will automatically increase you no need to worry about the scalability so your load balancer it can handle the 10000 load also 10 million also but you no need to worry it will automatically taking care into the cloud platform okay so so more your uptime into the cloud more your system is be better into that one it reduce many risks like uh, uh, many applications where they have the uh, risk to make it down or something happen they reduce many risk on that one it enhance security they are giving you so much security options for first they are vm level security second network level security okay and they are have the tie up with many other vendors who are providing the security or in your environment okay by default they are giving both options security groups or network acls where you can block the traffic hackers traffic or you want to allow to the specific traffic all you can do that and last is go to market so definitely better you will go for the go to market it will be more quickly these days you will build your application new versions so you are into the market more quickly okay earlier if you talk about four years back five years back the new version is coming once in a year sometimes two uh, uh, once in two years now the totally it's changed every company wants their product very quickly into the market so go to market for every company's day by day important with the new features and that is only possible right now these days due to the uh, cloud platforms. Before this one, tell me uh, from your, uh, you can see my screen, okay? Tell me rather than these clients, any client which in your mind, which is running onto the AWS or any cloud platform. These are the very small. There is a thousand of clients are right now onto the cloud. Unilever, definitely Philips, many companies, they are onto the uh, cloud. Even hotel industries, okay, Marriott, they are also on cloud, Airbnb. Why they are all into the cloud? Okay, why they required? Okay, so they have a cloud is saying just do your business, I will take care of rest of the things. Means your business is what? Your business is, for example, Marriott, hotel industry. They need the business for, you need to just take care about your business, whatever your IT functions, your marketing, your other things, they are saying we will take care, okay? So now, why these clients, they are saying about the cloud? Why, what they are saying about their clouds. So there is a lot of, uh, if you go to their website, they are saying a lot about the clouds. Recently, I will tell you my experience. Recently, we are talking with one of the hospital industry. Okay, one of the hospital. You know, hospital has a lot of data, a lot of data of patients data, but it, it is sometimes not usable anymore. For example, today I went to the hospital, I'm a patient. And now after 30 days, I will not going, my, I'm okay now. Will I go again and ask them and what they will uh, do with my data? They can't do anything, okay? And <clears throat> we will ask them, would they have terabytes of the patient's data in terabytes, okay? so. <clears throat> what they will do i ask them uh, okay tell us how much data you have now that data right now inside their data centers okay and they are keep on increasing more and more day by day increasing why because their scan reports are there very very heavy reports but they can't delete because that patient might be come after two years so for that we give them the solution to move your data which you are not using move to the cloud it will save a lot of cost and we save
to their end of the day after complete project, we save their 52% of their cost. What they're currently they are paying for their uh, storage and now after cloud migration. Okay, that much of uh, uh, savings are there. That, but you should know how the AWS is important, how the Azure is important, and how what the services they are giving and which services can give the more benefit to your clients. Come on to the next slide, uh, Jatin. Here, uh, I have just uh, telling you about uh, a lot of use cases are there, a lot of business uh, case studies are there. So I'm just taking the three case studies here, GE, Unilever, and Eon. So uh, G has the almost the similar type of uh, requirement. They want, they have a lot of data. They want to move and keep that uh, data which they have. They thought about what they will do uh, with that data and they are increasing their cost, a lot of their cost day by day it is increasing because they were keeping that data still on their uh, flash disk and there is a tool in aws where you can analyze their data client data and think which data recently used which data not recently used and which is not recently used move to somewhere else which is not required like last 60 days last 100 days you didn't touch a file it means that is not much important. So that type of analytics are there onto the AWS. And they have the storage space there and they have the solution to migrate your data from your on-premises to the cloud. Same way, Unilever. Unilever, uh, everybody uh, know about the Unilever. Unilever has a very, uh, means, digital marketing strategy, okay? For that, their uh, uh, their marketing earlier it took so much time when they have want to campaign for particular country particular state based on the uh, because definitely marketing is company to company uh, yet in uh, i can see your emails now okay so uh, day by day, you know, we can see your. Uh, uh, they need the campaign for their uh, particular state, particular country. Now they have the existing in more than hundred plus uh, countries, and now they have to create the campaign for different countries. They utilize the cloud platform because cloud existence is almost in every country. They no need to spend and build a complete data center for every country because. If I want to go for their local website, local uh, this thing, it will be latency will be less for me. So they have to build their data center across uh, multiple countries. So now this will be less and they are seven times faster from their traditional system. They have a lot of, uh, they use completely cloud uh, for their digital marketing. And same with Eon. Eon is a very good uh, into the, they have the application security application which uh, uh, it is a security industry they have all funds from the different uh, companies they are managing their funds is the financial company on their software people can go and see what will be happen about this fund after 10 years what is the stat what is the uh, you can say forecast for that particular fund now this is the business but down the line the application is there now in application, if you are doing the analytics on for the next 30 years, they have to do a lot, a lot of the uh, calculation, computation have to do that. That is not possible with the normal CPUs. They are using GPUs, okay? That is the GPU cards in their system and they need the 20, uh, not 20, 2000 GPUs at same time to access that. For that, they have a lot of cost onto their local data centers. They discuss with the AWS. AWS gave them systems with the GPU capability. Now, the question is how they are saving the cost. They are saving the cost because they are not using 24 by 7. In their data center, they have to buy, and they use, and they don't use. They have to pay for that. But now on AWS, if they use only weekly ones 
weekly twice they will take the uh, that system from the aws use it and uh, after that delete it so they are paying only for the time when they are using for with that they are saving a lot of cost so same way there is a multiple uh, clients who are saving their cost uh, it's not only saving but quality also increased which thing they are doing in two days now uh, uh, they are getting in there within two hours which it took firstly one month now it's took one week so that's way they are changing the people are changing the business okay like you can see about the uber the uber changed the uh, completely business because of their applications okay so more these days the align direct business is directly aligned with the technology so i'm these days especially about the cloud technologies okay now i have a question for everyone tell me top four um, cloud providers top four i think one or two already done aws and azure tell me who is third and fourth everybody so i want to just know people are saying uh, ibm and google google cloud uh, ibm open stack ibm so majority of the people are answering ibm and the google yes number 3 is the okay and just you can move to the next slide thank you so now uh, first second third is this one aws azure and google now who is the number fourth somebody people saying oracle ibm or openstack actually no fourth company is coming very fast and some people even not aware they are growing very fast they already leave ibm and oracle behind the company name is alibaba cloud alibaba now came into the cloud uh, business and they are growing day by day growing very fast okay so that's the reason now they came number 4 and they started their business in india also and most of the countries now for us number 3 is google number 2 is azure and number 1 is aws okay now aws started their uh, cloud business very early but i have a question for every what has uh, what is the biggest advantage microsoft has which aws doesn't have biggest advantage let's see one or two you can whatever the answer you have just think about what is the aws has the biggest advantage yeah you can tell me the answers yeah so the biggest advantages are easy operations uh, pay as you go compatibility with windows okay like platform like you are microsoft has so many applications these are things who has compatible very good so very good uh, everyone so who is giving the answer one of the biggest thing is applications they are already have the enterprise applications which all the enterprise companies are using right now if you think about microsoft whichever industry you talk about retail financial insurance companies uh, automobile companies uh, you talk about any company they have the windows they have exchange servers office 365 they have the sharepoint they have business intelligence tools already their presence is all the big industries they have okay and big industries are giving the big money to these companies so azure has one of the biggest benefit if they are able to convert their enterprise client to the microsoft azure they are in very good profit okay definitely aws has in more things they are coming with the more and more solutions but azure has already presence they have the account managers for each big account so if they are able to migrate their clients to from uh, their on premises to the microsoft azure they are very uh, good in that and definitely microsoft marketing is very good 
okay but aws on the other hand they are coming with so many new solutions every week if you go with their blogs i will tell you how you can subscribe their blogs they will tell you every week what they are coming with the new features so some feature you will see today it is there like uh, one month back mumbai india has only two availability zones now they have converted and made one third also okay so that is slowly business requirement increase they are giving the more and more um, functionality to uh, go into each region and uh, new functionalities new softwares they are giving new options okay okay jitin come to the next slide okay we already discussed about a uh, little bit about uh, this thing cloud service providers amazon already has the 33 uh, zones availability spread 17 worldwide regions so they have the presence in almost all the major regions in asia pacific uh, in australia also they have um, uh, they have uh, presence in all over uh, eu different uh, because eu has the different uh, G, uh, gpr uh, gdpr uh, policies so they build their data centers almost in every region same way azure they are continuously growing and building their own data centers in many regions so that they can capture more and more business now gpc uh, gcp google cloud platform they rank behind the aws and azure but they already have a lot of service okay now i have a one more question for you which is the first cloud service you think ever people used cloud service might be people are saying it is cloud or not doesn't matter but what do you think the first uh, cloud service was there in the market as per your opinion the gmail firstly mail came hotmail hotmail came actually it is a, a, like a cloud service only they are giving you over the internet you go to the internet browse one open uh, uh, particular one website hotmail.com and start using one service that is one of the cloud service email service on the cloud right then slowly uh, yahoo mail came gmail came many other services came now you are thinking about um, your dropbox google drive all these are the storage cloud storage even our uh, government also start, started the cloud storage uh, can you mute uh, jitin you said yeah sure thank you thank you so now these days if you think about our um, government also digi lockers they gave for your certification all your uh, license other things you put on to the cloud that is our uh, government cloud that is all these things right now which we are that is the different model of the cloud so in our trainings we will explain you what is the infrastructure as a service what is uh, platform as a service what is software as a service okay right now we are using one of the software as a service that is our go to webinar tool if you think about this tool we are using everyone over the internet this is a software as a service into the cloud okay everyone so come to the next slide this is the magic quadrant the we uh, discuss about so here little bit so gartner is the one of the uh, company who will tell you what is uh, coming into next 5 years which company is growing what particular technology is going in cloud platform they are talking about the who is leaders am aws microsoft google and who is the new players who is uh, uh, means grabbing more market is alibaba then oracle and ibm comes okay now ibm is changing their um uh, completely uh, their strategy that is different thing we will we can discuss in some other time but yes on to the cloud platform number 1 and number 2 is the market where you can say both companies capture already you can say somewhere uh, 60% market is with these two players okay amazon and microsoft and if you are good in these two technologies you will get Uh, good opportunities in the uh, 
in the jobs you will get more and uh, more uh, offers from the market so the next slide okay this is i've made the periodic table of aws so aws almost all type of services they are giving you they are giving you on to the analytics on to the storage on to end user computing now these days you heard about artificial intelligence blockchain uh, iot their main motive is you no need to worry about uh, infrastructure or backend you no need to build your own uh, backend for your iot virtual machines storages security network that's aws saying we will build you you just focus on your application if you're building a application on iot so you just build that application all the backend infrastructure aws will provide you okay so same way they have the databases which we will cover in our um, in our trainings uh, ec2 storage so network and content delivery so all these things we will cover in our uh, you know, during our trainings so come to the next slide Jatin. so same way periodic table we have for azure also so azure also have a uh, same way they have a complete different portfolio not different it's almost a similar some portfolio is similar some options are different but yes most of the things it's there they aws also have uh, virtual machines here also the virtual machines are there might be the names are different AWS is also giving you the um, load balancer. Mm, uh, Azure is also giving the load balancer. Okay, so many technologies will be similar, but only the options will be changed. But once you understand from the one side, automatically other will be very easy for you to relate and to learn uh, from the uh, other cloud platforms. Come to the next slide. Okay, so this is very important and it is little, uh, I think, uh, two, three months back, older this one. Uh, no, uh, it is 2018. Okay, 2018 it is came, uh, average salary of a AWS professional, cloud professional was the, in US one lakh forty six thousand dollars is the average. It can go more than two lakhs also. Okay, and some are 2.5 lakhs also uh, people are paying, especially some of the very good companies, Netflix, these companies, they need uh, the technology on the AWS side or uh, Azure side a lot. There are 50,000 cloud computing positions available only in US. Okay, so from the 3,700 employers, and if worldwide it is saying more than one lakh actually this is a old, uh, little older record it's more than that openings are available right now into the cloud computing side and it is day by day increasing because new things are coming into the aws new positions are coming into onto the cloud computing side okay a lot of scope into the uh, onto the cloud now don't think about only some companies required I will tell you, uh, IBM, HP, uh, all the service companies, Sapient, they are hiring all these experts because they have a lot of clients. More, more from the, this one, these are the IT companies, Deloitte, KPMG, PwC, they are the consulting companies. They are hiring professionals from the cloud computing professionals because they are giving the consulting to these companies other company financial companies retail companies where they should go okay which cloud they have used based on their requirements so all the industries they are using one of the banking industry uh, our client we went there they have a team of aws architects which they will uh, telling about which solution they have to use how they have to use okay so they have the uh, now <clears throat> what are the major skills into the market? Java, Linux, AWS, software development, DevOps, Docker, IS are the most in demand skills. So then uh, next is the from the US side. So Washington DC, many other places. In India, if I'm talking about only in India, so there is a more uh, jobs in Bangalore, Chennai, Pune, and NCR region. 
so a lot of jobs are creating on uh, these major cities now it is starting into tier two cities if you go to the jaipur chandigarh these cities a lot of companies they are working uh, they are the small company but they are working a lot on to the cloud technologies yeah so i will a uh, little bit uh, there is a very vast area into the cloud and it's a just journey started don't think aws uh, azure google they are keep on spending the uh, money or investing money into the cloud it's just a started a journey you have to start this journey right now okay to so it is not a single day job when everybody will be expert no so it will help because first thing what uh, okay i am hiring for my team right now i have a 50 resumes came to me first thing how i will shortlist in 50 resumes everybody is saying they are good in so firstly i will see who is the certified with the aws so i know who certified from the aws at least he has some experience or might be studied or uh, yeah, he has some knowledge onto that so that's the reason first filter criteria for the many companies they have right now the certification because a lot if they are getting so many resumes they can't take the interview of 50 people immediately so they will see shut down only 15 has the certification okay call that 15 people so that's the reason certification is more important second how it will helps you the job even you are developer you are uh, working on security you are working on networking you are working on as an architect you have to be because industry is transforming every day so you have to start your journey onto the cloud so aws has a uh, different uh, courses for different type uh, people for example if you are from a development background you can start with the developer associate course aws certified developer associate if you are from the admin uh, administrator side you know the windows you know the linux you can start the solution architect course and then you can go for the professional uh, solution architect professional uh, devops engineer professional so that you can and with that they have some special courses or specialty on particular things like big data advanced networking security machine learning alexa skill builder all these different uh, courses they have or certifications they have uh, in AWS come to the next slide uh, Jitin same with the like AWS they have the Azure also having the similar type of certifications okay so where you can start with a uh, smaller part and then keep on growing yourself and this will not be you can't think about a within two months you will learn everything or within within one month you will learn. you will learn first then keep on practicing and keep on growing onto this one. More you practice, more you learn. I will say about, you should know about, about little bit about the uh, IT industry. If you are saying, I'm totally out, I don't know anything about the Windows, I don't know anything about the Linux, then it will be very difficult for you. But if you are from any background, like you are from the admin background, database background, uh, you are from the develop, Java developer, Python developer, or uh, any other type of in IT industry, there is no prerequisites. You can just go with this one and you can learn because there is no direct dependency on operating system, no dependency on particular technology. Like you are from the DB only, then only you can learn, no. Or you are a developer only then you can learn no all the people even these days my most of the uh, many people they are coming from the project management background because when they are talking about the uh, in the in the company they are preparing the PT, ppts and they are convincing their management they should know about the new technologies aws ho so that's why it is uh, there is nothing specific yes you should be a little bit know about the it industry then yes exactly so uh, sushant is asking what will be the basic certification to start for a project manager uh, for a project manager, uh, we uh, I think Yatin, uh, you can give the answer. I think uh, this will be uh, better. That our both the certification will help them, Azure and AWS. 
many companies uh, they are moving from the private cloud to the public cloud even uh, absolutely right some of the telecom company nokia so they are still into the private cloud but they have started their journey with the public cloud itself they have the started this uh, their private cloud and now they are uh, also shifting the hybrid means some of the portion they have onto the aws today or tomorrow they are moving to the public cloud because what the public cloud giving them uh, more options or more software more technology that private cloud is a little bit difficult for them and sometimes it is if it is vmware private cloud it's too much expensive too much this is the uh, actually the uh, new concept uh, they are uh, talking about uh, these days only for the iot projects so generally most of uh, iot companies they are talking about the for computing okay so where they have the more important is only networking storage like nfv okay so but uh, uh, i will it is too early to say anything about uh, that so i didn't see much uh, clients they are talking about about the fogging uh, computing or fog networking these days still there means i didn't see much customers on that so i think it's too early to say anything about that and that is they have the one more thing they have the specific use case into the iot industry only not for any other and our course is more for any industry